Yo, what's good? It's your boy, Derek Branch, your SportsView360.com, covering the New Orleans Saints. And the Saints have once again lost another game. They're now on a five-game losing streak. Um, tonight, they put on one of the worst performances in the post, you know, Sean Payton era. These last three games have been the worst I've seen out of, out of Saints football since the Mike Dicker years, since the Haslett years. You know, it just it, it has that type of vibe to it. You know, they're now 2-5 on the season, five-game losing streak, been blowing out, you know, three, second, second week in a row they have been blowing out, and it's the same thing, you know, much of the same problems, you know, tackling, um, Battle line play, players getting hurt left and right. It's just awful. You know, um, tonight, Paulson Debo went down. Season ending, season uh, ending, uh, ending injury, broken femur. That's going to be, I think, fibula, if I'm not mistaken. You let me know in the comment section, but it's, it's real bad for him. Hopefully, he can recover and, you know, could, hopefully, he can uh, continue his career, but we'll see. Um,. Marshawn Lattimore went the injury tent. He had a hamstring injury. He didn't come back. I think Demario Davis went in the injury tent. Um, Jawan Johnson went in the injury tent. See, I, think, I think he came back, but it's just the cycle, man. It's just a, a very bad time in the New Orleans Saints you know, organization. Um, Teron Matthew had an easy interception. He dropped it. This is unusual stuff, man, because, you know, any other time, any other time, Honey Badger would have picked that off. You know, it's just, it's real bad right now. The, the tackling has just been atrocious. You know, when Dennis Allen doesn't feel as though he's um fight, coaching for his job. They asked him that today. Because, um, like, Richard Sherman, I got the clip on the, on my uh, on the channel, it was in one of the videos. Richard Sherman called the team out. He was saying that it's like they're trying to get him fired. And he disagreed with it. So he doesn't feel like he's going to be fired. And he coaches like it. And I've been saying that for a while. Dennis Allen. Dennis Allen does not coach like a guy that's that like a guy that thinks he's, he could he could uh, possibly be fired if things don't get turned around. He doesn't feel that pressure. You know? And I know there wasn't they're not, they're not wasn't gonna, they wasn't gonna fire him tonight after the after the night's game, you know, with everything that's going on. Sean Payton's uh return. Drew Brees night. They weren't gonna do that, man. They weren't. But then again, don't know why the, the Saints picked this game. You know, I know this is prime time matchup, but they picked this game to honor Drew Brees, you know, on the same night as Sean Payton coming back. So it just kinda to me it's kinda, you know, off in my opinion, but it, it is what it is. But you have Drew Brees night, you honor Drew Brees and you get blown out. It's like every time Drew Brees comes come to these games, come to the games, the Saints have a bad performance. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, with the way with the way it's going, the Saints got a top five pick or a top ten pick. The way it's going in the NFL draft of the 2025 NFL draft, it's not even. We're not even at week ten. We're not even at week ten. Week nine, and this in the Saints' season is, is like going away. It's, it's slowly evaporating. Like we could be in the month of November, late de mid December, you know, early December, and the play the possibility ability of playing in the playoffs won't be there for the Saints. That's how bad it is. You know what I mean? So, this is, this is bad. But back to the draft. Yeah, the Saints, the way the Saints are playing, if they keep this up, they can get a top five pick, a top ten pick, you know. So, that's the that's, that's the um, the plus side of it. You know, um, maybe they fire Dennis Allen, maybe they don't. Maybe he gets the um, injury excuse once again, you know. But anywhere else, if this, if this was any other market, like in the, on the East Coast, 
Philadelphia, New York, you know, um, Baltimore. Well, yeah, Baltimore. Dennis Allen be gone, man. Dennis Allen would have been fired a long time ago. In fact, Dennis Allen probably would have got fired in the, after the Falcons game. Dennis Allen would probably got fired after the Bucks game. You know, this, this was anywhere else. You know, but you get that top five, top ten pick, man, that gives you a lot of leeway, a lot of ammunition to do something to this team. Quarterback, O-line, you can do a lot. You can trade down and get more picks, you know. But um, in regards to Spencer Rattler, man, look, it's not really, it's not even really like fair to like enjoy, really like critique him playing behind this this offensive line, playing with these weapons, these lack of weapons you're having right now. Tonight you had what Mason Tipton, uh, Bob Means, Bob Means and Cedric Wilson. You know what I'm saying? So if he can't, I mean, uh, I'm not really bothered if he doesn't play next next week against the Chargers. There's been some talk about um, Jake Hayner possibly possibly getting a nod, getting a nod going to the next week just based on how he handled that that drive playing against that defense, but we'll see. But um, it would be interesting to see what the Saints would do if they had a top five, top ten pick. You know, would you go after a guy like a Tatiara uh, McMillan out of Arizona or a uh, uh, Shadur Sanders, a Travis Hunter? Those type of players, you know, right now in the first the manga that I just seen on ESPN Plus, they got the Saints taking um, Team at Tatiara uh, McMillan out of Arizona to see the big body wide receiver. They got him take. They got the Saints taking that guy at twelve right now. That's what the Saints currently stand. But the way it's looking, like I keep saying, the way it's looking, they'll be getting the top five pick, the top ten pick. If they go twenty and fifteen, if they don't if they don't win another game, that's the number one pick. I think the Saints have the number one overall pick in the draft. You know, and will Coach Prime want to, want Shadura to come to this team, join this team with Dennis Allen as the head coach? Because if Dennis Allen is if the Saints get the number one pick in this draft, and Dennis Allen is the head coach, Coach Prime is going to tell Shadura to pull a Eli. He will not come to this team. You really think Coach Prime is going to allow his son to be selected by the New Orleans Saints with Dennis Allen as the head coach? No. Or Travis Hunter. I mean, the only, I mean, you got Aston Gentry right there, but do you really want to take a running back that high? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So, that's some things to think about, man. If you had the number one pick, but the way the Saints are going, it's heading that way. So really ain't got that much to look at the game. I'm not gonna really critique the, the stats or anything like that, the, the, the plays or anything, because it's just it's a wash. You know, it was just that bad. You know, so next game is uh, against the uh, Los Angeles Chargers. Um, you may get some play some injured players coming back by then. Pete Warner. Taysom Hill, maybe Derek Carr is ready by then. Who knows? But you know, I'm pretty sure there's there's a new injury report injury report that's gonna be out in the next couple of days when they get ready for the Chargers. We're gonna have even more players on it. So some more some newer players on it. So that's what you gotta deal with. So we'll see. Alright, so I'll have you off for right now, man. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, let me know how you feel. What are your thoughts on tonight's performance? Do you want Dennis Allen fired or you really don't care? Or do, you should, or do you think the Saints should wait until this season is over to make that decision? Have a blessed night. Peace. I'm out. Who, who that?